Hello everyone, so this is my first ever makeup tutorial. Um, I've wanted to do one of these forever, but we thought, while we're obviously not able to see each other, we thought this would be the perfect time. And obviously Lottie's done her lash lift video, so I thought I would do this because I'm a makeup artist, so I kind of know what I'm doing, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to do something a bit different because I'm literally obsessed with the colour lilac and I feel like pastels are kind of everywhere at the moment so I wanted to do an eyeshadow look that kind of incorporated that basically but yeah so like a lilac eye nice glowy skin and a nude lip and some fluffy lashes so yeah if you want to see how I did this keep on watching right if I move too much you're gonna fall over because I've got you on a candle and a hairspray can so yeah professional as always I don't have a tripod here it's at my mum's so <laughs> that I'll have to do so this is really weird not doing an intro because I've already done the intro so I don't know why I'm kind of doing an intro again just let's get started so we're going for some lilac vibes because if you didn't know lilac is my favorite color and I really want to do some kind of like smoky lilac eye with like really natural skin because that's what I'm feeling at the moment. So yeah, I'm gonna get started. So I'm gonna try and remember to talk through what products I'm using, but this is the first time I've ever done this. So I might forget, but I'll try and like link them below. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But I'm gonna start off with my brows anyway. If I'm looking down here, it's because my mirror's here. I'm really gonna try not to pick the mirror up and block the camera because I kept doing that and I'll get ready with us <laughs> so I'm gonna try not to do that yeah so I'm gonna start with my brows which are if I'm honest horrendous at the moment because I'm growing them out because we're in quarantine I mean I don't get my brows done I do my brows because I do brows anyway for my job so it's not like I can't do them but I just thought well i don't really need to go anywhere i'm just gonna grow them out so yeah basically i'm loving like the fluffy brow like everyone else in the world is so this is a little tip this mascara from collection i think they collection 2000 no i think they're just called collection now it is literally just a clear mascara and what i do is i basically like roll the brush onto the back of my hand so get a little cotton bud um so i have laminated my brows before but to be honest it's probably worn off so this might work if you haven't laminated your brows before i don't know but i basically get like a little bit on the cotton bud and then start like placing it on the hairs and then i'll get the spoolie on the end of my eyebrow pencil and basically just lay them where i want them to go so I'll do this one so you guys can see and then I'll probably do the other one off camera. I feel like you kind of, if your hairs, if your brow hairs like behave and they kind of like lay where you want them anywhere, you could probably do this without having lamination. But I mean, lamination does help. I laminated my own maybe like, I don't know, two and a half months ago so a little while ago now but yeah as you can see you just get that fluffy fluffy brow and you can just keep going in i mean this stuff does dry it's like hair gel that's why it's so good for this it does dry not quickly but when it dries you don't really want to be moving it around so you kind of need to get your shape and then leave it. So I think I'm pretty happy with that one. I need to stop tucking my hair behind my ears because I just will watch this video back and be like, why did you do that? Uh, so as you can see, that is one brow done. And I'm now gonna do the other one. And I'll probably do, we'll speed this up or I'll do it off camera because you don't really need to see both.
they are done so yeah nice and fluffy i'm not actually going to put much product in them i'm just going to go back in with the pencil that i was using this video and this pencil is just disgusting please do not judge me this is an hd brows brow tech in vamp so i'm going to try and put a bit of makeup through the front without blocking guys off with the mirror so i'm basically doing a really faint line just underneath the front and then I'm just gonna, these pencils are really good because they're not too soft. I mean, don't get me wrong, you want a brow pencil with pigment, but you actually don't want too much pigment because you then have to use such like a light hand, otherwise it looks really blocky. So I really like these pencils. I'm gonna use them on all my clients. Like makeup clients because I do HD brows anyway so I have all the makeup and they are just so good. Isn't it so funny how much like brow trends have changed like a few years ago it was so fashionable to have like really drawn in like blocky brows and now everyone's loving like the fluffy natural brow i mean i don't really know which one i prefer if i'm honest because at the time i loved like the proper like instagram brow like the really filled in ones at the time i loved it but don't get me wrong this one is a lot easier to maintain because it doesn't really matter if you have kind of the odd little bit that shouldn't be there <laughs> so with the tail i'm just kind of like you can see on this one i'm just like drawing it down a little bit because like I said, I'm growing my brows, my brows out and for some reason my tails have got quite short, especially when I brush them up like this. So obviously you haven't got the hairs laying that way. You brush them up so that my tails, the tail of my brow goes quite short. So I do just like to make that a little bit longer. I'm hoping if I leave them alone, they might grow in a bit, but maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. I've also got another mirror here if you wonder why I start looking over there as well. I've got like a big mirror here and I've got this little mirror here which you can probably see the back is really dirty because I always pick it up with makeup on my hands but you know this is real life just keeping it real. I think that is the brows pretty much done so really easy and quick if you're not talking like I am. So I'm now just going to carve them out and basically put concealer all over my eyelid. I'm going to use the Maybelline instant anti-age rewind one the one with the little twisty bit i take the sponge off because the sponge annoys me so i basically and it just comes out like this i basically then just put a little bit on my hand and i will uh, a flat brush like this and basically just cover the brush with it and then i'll start carving out my brows I'm gonna try and continue talking through this, like having a little chat, but I need to. I'm really bad, like when I'm concentrating, I can't really speak. So <laughs> I am gonna try, but maybe some of this video might be sped up because I will just be silent and that'll be a bit boring. I love this concealer it's just so good like so cheap obviously you can get it in boots and super drug but it's just so good like I just love the coverage of it I love like the finish of it I really like it as a base just love it basically so I'm gonna get this brush which is like this is a peaches and cream brush I use a lot of their brushes because I love them it's basically just like a um under eye concealer brush but it's really good for just I just want to get rid of the excess ready for when we do the eyeshadow so yeah you can see that is one brow carved out I wouldn't normally do this like in an everyday kind of situation really I don't really carve them out um but yeah if I'm doing like if I'm going on a night out or something I will 
so i feel like charlotte talked about this in her video when she done her lash lift oh can we just talk about that by the way god if i try to do i mean i'm not qualified to do lash lifts anyway so i wouldn't know what i was doing but i would be blind honestly i don't know how she done it I'm just getting a bit more concealer i do not know how she done it and my eyes are so sensitive i was literally watching it my eyes were just water and watching it i just couldn't like when her oh no no <laughs> can't go I feel like she spoke about this in her video, but has anyone been watching or has watched Tiger King? Because honestly, that program is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Like, I didn't even realise it was going to be much of a big thing, but now there's just like, I always see stuff on like Facebook and Twitter and TikTok, like, so many, like, everyone loves it. But it was the weirdest thing like it just like turned my brain to like mush like there was parts and i was just like what even is this like what is going on it's the weirdest thing it was good well i think that's i don't really know if that's the words you'd use to describe it to be honest but it was was it interesting i don't know <laughs> it's a good watch it's entertaining for probably all the wrong reasons but yeah if you're bored definitely give it a watch because you just like watching it the whole way through like what is going on here the most corrupt situation wow i look really weird like with concealer on the top and underneath wow let's get some makeup on my face so i'm gonna set it a tiny bit i'm just gonna take some of my b bakery flour powder which i love just on a big fluffy brush literally just the tiniest bit in the lid and i'm just gonna set it i do sometimes do oh, actually a lot of the time i do especially on clients i put eyeshadow onto a wet base but with this one because i'm using lilacs um i want it to be quite like not it doesn't need to be super pigmented like i'm not going to use any shimmer it's gonna be pretty much matte i'm gonna put a little bit of glitter on the lid um but yeah it doesn't need to be super super pigmented if that makes sense so i'm gonna start so i'm actually using when i was thinking about this video i was like, oh i need like some kind of palette with pastels in it so i've got a lot of palettes but i was like i don't really have anything with lilac in and i remembered i have this which is the NYX Ultimate Basics Palette in Brights. That's literally what it's called. And it's got so many like really bright eyeshadows in. And I mean, I haven't used this a lot of times. Like, I think I've pretty much used it for like when I've done makeup looks really. When I used to post on my Instagram more. Um, but yeah, I found it and I was like, oh my God, literally this color is perfect. I don't even know if you can see that, but the lilac. That is what I'm gonna use. I am gonna, oh my eye wants to water. Do not do this to me. Water. I'm going to take the lilac, literally just pack it on this brush, which is another peaches and cream brush, and just pack it on all over the lid. So yeah, literally such a pretty colour, like, I love it. I mean, I don't know how many times I need to say that I love lilac, but I do. Lilac top, I got another lilac top and I'm this guided haul, but honestly, I need help. See, so yeah, I'm literally packing this right on the lid and then just blending it through the crease. I want it like really nice. I'm gonna wing it out in a minute. I want it like really nice and kind of smoky around the edge. So I'm gonna take another brush. This is a Morphe brush, it's rubbed off. I have to wash these all the time, obviously, because some of these brushes are from my kit. So they tend, the name tends to rub off, but it's fine. So I'm gonna wing it out. I've just got another Morphe brush, which I have just got powder on. 
and just blend the edges and just keep building it up basically. I don't really think I would ever wear this out. Would I be brave enough? I don't know. I feel like it's proper like 90s vibes, isn't it? The whole pastel kind of trend, especially the eye makeup. So yeah, as you can see, kind of winged out a little bit. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna add like a darker purple kind of in the outer corner just to define that wing a little bit. I'm pretty happy. I'm literally, I was gonna say I'm winging it and that sounds like some sort of joke. Winging it, winging the eyeshadow out. It didn't mean it like that. I am literally winging this. I'm just, I've wanted to do this for ages. So that is just that one color all over the lid and winged out slightly. And I think I'm going to take the slightly darker purple like lilac colour in this palette. This is either going to go really well or I'm really going to regret it. But we'll see by now. I'm going to take like this tiny little brush and just place this. Like I don't want it to look like a lot darker. Yeah, I, quite like, I just want a little bit more definition. Just go back in with that brush I used before and blend it. Because like I said, I don't want it to look dark. Same on the other eye again, obviously. I think that's worked. I'm pleased about that. Thought that was going to go really badly, but we're all good. I think. Right, so that is the like base of the eyeshadow done, really. I'm going to put a tiny bit, not to look like liner, but I am putting lashes on. So I'm going to put, I'm going to take my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, which is quite beaten up, to be honest. It's well loved. This is, it's literally filthy. Look at it. Ew, disgusting. <laughs> I'm gonna take a angled brush like this, like a really fine angled brush and just take like one of the dark browns from this palette and just place it along my lash line. Like I said, not to look like liner because I don't really want you to be able to see it, but it's gonna make and the lashes on a lot easier. God, I never do coloured eyeshadow, you know? This is maybe gonna... I'm gonna be a changed person after this. I remember when I first bought this, the Jaclyn Hill palette, and it's got like these turquoises in it. Oh, no, I'll never use that. But maybe after this. You never know. I'll be out and about with turquoise eyeshadow on. God, I miss my lash extension so much, it's actually unreal. Like, I didn't realise how addicted to them I was. And now I don't have them. Like, when you wake up in the morning, I just feel bald. Like, where's, my, where's my eyes? How can I see with these? They're so small. They just don't look like my eyes without my extensions, but my lashes were actually fine because obviously Charlotte Lottie is a lash tech and she is fabulous. So my lashes weren't wrecked at all, but I feel like I felt they like they were shorter just because I was used to them being really long because they're extensions. Do you see what I mean? And then you go from that to like natural lashes and you're like, oh my God. So I have been using, oh, great. Wonderful. Don't even know if you can see what I did there, but that's annoying. 
linked in the wrong time, didn't I? Oh, it's alright, it's all good, we sorted it. So yeah, I've literally just placed like a dark brown shadow right along the lash line. And then I am going to take this little brush, which is in a MAC like brush gift set. Um, it says 515SE, don't know what that means. But it's like a tiny little smudger kind of brush. I am just going to smudge that out because although we're not going to be able to see it, I do want to keep the whole thing quite like smoky. So I'm just going to smudge that out the tiniest bit. But once you've got the lashes on, you won't really be able to see anyway. I feel like my voice goes really weird when I'm concentrating on my makeup. I'm like, oh, really? Literally, what? So I'm now, I want a tiny bit of glare like right on the center of the lid because I want to keep it really matte, but then I just do just want that. So I'm going to take some of the NYX Glitter Primer. Literally just a little bit on the back of my hand. Hardly get any because I'm not going to put a lot of glitter on there. And just dab that in the center of my lid. Why is that making my eyes want to water? Who knows? Literally just in the center. And I'm going to take, this is the Peaches and Cream. As you can see, I love this brand. Um, this is their Loose Pigment in Prin. And literally, I'm only getting it out of the lid because I just want the tiniest little bit. And then I am just going to go over it with I want it really like dispersed if that makes sense I'm going to need a cotton bud because it's kind of probably where I put the most glue and stick of it there we go I've put a little bit more on one than what I thought actually I just kind of wanted it in the center so like when you when I turn it kind of catches the light I didn't want a lot of glitter at all but I feel like that looks quite nice so I'm going to leave the eyes like that for now I'm going to move on to skin so I want really glowy not a lot of coverage really apart from where I need it so I'm going to start off with Um, I just got this cream on my face and I'm not telling you what it is <laughs> Max Strobe Cream and I'm just going to go in with a little stippling brush and just blend that in yeah my skin has just hated me like I have seen like a few people say on Twitter and stuff that ever since quarantine has kind of hit that their skin's been really bad and I'm like yeah that's me I don't know why I'm literally not, not really wearing any makeup. Maybe my skin likes makeup. I swear it's better when I don't have anything on. I mean, a lot of this is like scarring. So I do get quite, I went through a phase of getting really bad, like hormonal spots like on my chin and like here. So a lot of it is scarring, but I have got a f the odd, still like actual spot and it's just really annoying. I'm just, I've never really had bad skin, so. It just threw me to be honest um i'm now gonna put on my fave this is literally i love this this is charlotte tilbury flawless filter i think i've got this in number two light and this is just amazing i literally love this it's expensive but it's worth it and i literally I don't really focus this on any area in particular because I just like my whole face to be like glowing. It's just extra like that. So I'm just gonna blend that in. Same as I did the show cream, just so my face is nice. And glowy everywhere. Wow, how many times do you want to say glowy? <gasps> I just can't imagine how like matte skin. I really can't. I'm sure that'll be a thing soon, but I just don't like it on myself personally I feel like I look a lot more healthy with some glow okay now you can see I literally look sweaty I'm gonna do my foundation so I'm gonna take mainly this is like a giant bottle um, of MAC face and body 
which is really, really super light coverage. I'm just gonna palette to mix it on. Oh God, you're not gonna fall over again, are you? <gasps> no, it's fine. Um, oh God, I've got to go in here again, I forgot something. <laughs> I'm taking MAC Face and Body mixed with, so I haven't got any fake tan on at the moment. As you can probably tell, I look like a ghost. So potentially this foundation is gonna be a little bit dark, but I'm just gonna deal with it because it's gonna look better with slightly more tanned on my face. So this is Face and Body by MAC in C1. Mixing that with, this is literally my fave foundation from Boots, Super Drug, those kind of places. Drugstore if you're American. L'Oreal True Match in 2D. So Golden Almond, I wanna mix those together. Cause like I said, I do want quite a like natural coverage. Why am I talking so slowly? It's cause I'm concentrating. I told you I'm really bad at this. So I'm mixing that up on my little palette and I'm just gonna pop that on. And take, I'm gonna do it in sections so it doesn't dry. Take another Peaches and Cream brush. This is literally my favorite for foundation. It's like a big kind of fluffy domed brush. It's just amazing. And just press that in. As you can see, like neither of these foundations are particularly full coverage. It does cover like those scars I've got there quite well. Oh, actually, I don't know if it's going to be mm, maybe a little bit dark, but never mind. I just remember when we filmed that Get Ready With Us, when we were going out. Oh, God, I can't remember what it's like to go out. <laughs> and my foundation literally looked like peanut butter. And I swear in person it didn't look like that. That was horrendous. It looked so bad. And at the end everyone was like, oh, it looks fine. Like my mum watched that and was like, what did you put on your face? <laughs> but in person it was actually all right. And then by the end it looked fine. It's just weird. Like it's really weird how different stuff can look on camera. Like, I remember before we started making videos, I'd watch other people and they'd say, oh, I swear this is a different colour in person. And I'd be like, well, how can it be that different? And now we do them and I'm like, wow. Okay, I see. Blend it on my neck because it's too dark. Could just blend forever, look at that. Wow, it really doesn't match. Never mind. What can you do? I'm not wearing a foundation that matches me right now because it's just it's just too pale. I need something on my face or my skin, but I just can't be bothered to fake tan. <laughs> Right, and then, as you can see, I haven't blended around my eyebrows, I'm not leaving it like that. I then do take a beauty blender. I don't really use, oh my God, my nose is so dry. What is this about? My skin just hates me. It's like, right, I'm gonna give you a spot here, a fucking dry patch there. Around my brows, you do need to be quite careful because obviously I've made them really nice and fluffy so there's not like a clean line to kind of follow. So I'm just gonna try and not mess those up. Do you know, I just have TikTok songs going round and round in my head all day, every day. It's actually not normal. Actually, I think it is normal. I think everyone's in the same position because everyone's obsessed with TikTok. <laughs> I've actually made some TikToks now after watching. I've literally had TikTok and watched them for maybe like a year. Because my friend Molly introduced me to it and I was obsessed. I'm obsessed. And I actually make some now. So I'm just going to go back in with a little bit more coverage just where I need it. I think that's looking alright. Where I need more coverage still, I'm gonna take this again. I think I showed this in our vlog. This is literally a Makeup Revolution foundation stick, but I don't, think like I said before, I don't use it as a foundation because it's really full coverage. So I actually just use it to like add a little bit more <laughs> coverage where I've got spots or like redness around my nose, anything like that. It just melts into the skin really nicely, I think, really like it but not all over because it's really full coverage and I 
I think I wore it once and um, if you get hot, it doesn't stay on very well, but it's really good other than that. <laughs> so I'm now gonna take my L'Oreal Perfect, no what? True Match, why is it Perfect Match on the side? Who knows? Concealer in one N. This is quite light. I mean, I'm saying it's quite light. It's probably my actual skin tone, but I'm still enjoying like the bright under eyes thing. I'm going to do a little bit down my nose. I've got my chin. And then blend it in with this brush again. Sorry if I haven't been looking at the camera very much. I've just realised I've probably just been staring into the mirror. And then where I get to like this bit where I've winged the eyeshadow out, I'm going to take a beauty blender because I want to be careful not to kind of cover the eyeshadow. So we're still keeping like that wing shape. If, when you use a brush, I always use a brush like in the inner corner because a brush gives you the most coverage and that's where I need it. It's like where if I'm going to get a dark bit of my eye like purple, that's where it's going to be basically. Right, that's foundation done. So I'm now gonna set that before it creases under my eyes. With I'm gonna do under my eyes with the Beauty Bakery powder again. Literally my fave for under my eyes. It's amazing. Smooths everything out. Like look how smooth under my eye looks now. I don't know if you can see. Amazing, love it. I'm now going to take a little bit of this is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is the glow version. I don't really see a lot of people talking about this, but you know what? It's literally lovely. Like, it sets your face. But I always use it kind of over like my cheekbones and where I put my bronze at kind of area and on my forehead because it doesn't take away that glowiness and put a little bit on my nose as well so it adds it back so you're not really matte yeah love that really recommend i am going to do under my eyes now i think so going back to the palette i'm going to take i want it quite kind of smoked down i want it quite low so i'm going to take the lighter side like again on that flatter brush that I was using and just get the colour right on the end of the brush. You know what, I think this is making my eyes look really green, maybe purple or lilac is my colour. Take this little brush again and I'm going to take that slightly darker purple, not dark but the lilac I put in the outer corner. I'm just take that a bit closer. Yeah, that's what I wanted. To the lash line. Just to kind of blend that whole wing shape together. I do like when I do makeup, I make up to take like a smoky eye quite low. So I feel like it balances out the top a little bit better. I'm going to take this absolutely miniature because <laughs> I've had it for a while. Um, I don't even, is this Makeup Revolution? It's basically, yeah, I think it is. It's really good, but it's just a nude eyeliner. I'm just going to pop a little bit. And my waterline. And I might also take the Jaclyn Hill palette again and this little brush that I use to smudge out the brown on the top and just take a t the tiniest little bit of brown eyeshadow and just pop that right close to the lash line underneath and just blend it out with that little brush again.
yeah just so it adds a little bit of definition under the eye as well okay i'll give you a little close up because i realize i haven't just so you can see what the eyes are looking like and the skin obviously i haven't done like bronzer or anything like that yet so but yeah this is it without any lashes obviously we'll be adding lashes because i look bored at the moment need some lashes okay so i'm gonna finish my face i always do lashes last i know some people do it in a different order but i always do lashes last so i'm gonna do bronzer highlight everything like that so this is makeup forever pro bronze fusion literally love this it's such a nice bronzer it's got I wouldn't say glow, but it's got like a little bit of a sheen to it. It just makes your skin look really nice and healthy. And I'm just taking this on a big Morphe brush. I'm just going to bronze up with this. This bronzer is, as you probably see when I showed you, it's more on the cooler side. Um, when I haven't got tan on, like when I've got fake tan on, I'll use something like um, MAC Give Me Sun. But oh my god, if I was to use this right now, I would look orange. I just find it too orange on like fair skin. And it's really, it's really pigmented, I find. So yeah, I just can't cope with it on um, pale skin. So I actually tend to like a slightly, I just put a little bit on my chin as well, just put a little bit under my jaw, on my neck, because my foundation doesn't match. Oh, actually, it doesn't look too bad now, you know. We'll get away with it. So yeah, that is bronzer. I am going to go over it a little bit with, this is an HD brows bronzer. Um, with that fluffy brush that I use for powder and I'm checking our last surprise, surprise, here it is. This one. And I am just going to go kind of a tiniest bit over the top of that and just more onto my cheek. And then I always take this HD brush, which is really dirty. Don't judge me. I don't know, I just really like it to put bronze on my nose. I always put bronze on my nose. I never used to do this. But I feel like, especially if you take photos of anything, your nose kind of disappears if you haven't got bronzer on it because the rest of your face has got colour and then your nose hasn't. So I always like to just add a little bit on the end. Maybe that's a bit much. <laughs> take the beauty blender, just take that little bit for blush i'm going to use mac melba because it's quite neutral probably everyone's seen this i feel like this is a classic blush just right on my cheeks and blend it up a little bit across my nose as well i need quite a neutral blush for this look because obviously the eyes are really lilac so I don't feel like a lot of blushes would go with it so that's why I chose quite a neutral one. For highlighter I'm going to go in, see I'm kind of not going off it but like the whole like really like highlighted like with powder highlight I'm kind of just not feeling it as much so I'm going to take this which is the Illamasqua, it's like a cream highlighter in aurora this color is it's literally beautiful like, i love this and i take a little bit on my beauty blender and then just take that on my cheekbones and it just almost makes your skin look like wet i just love it it's amazing so i just put that on my cheekbones a little bit on my chin my lip a little bit above my eyebrows just to kind of tie it all in and then I do take I'm gonna take um Becca shimmering skin perfecter in champagne pop which is another classic and I know I've just said I don't like wearing like loads of highlight but I don't put a lot of this on literally tap it in and just tap loads of it off and just put almost it on the top you see that don't know if you can just so it's kind of on the very top of that highlight back to the Jaclyn Hill palette 
and take, this is another Morphe brush, and take this colour on here. As you can see, it's very well loved, this colour is. I always use this for highlighter in my inner corner. Because it's just amazing. So as you can see, it's just really bright and just, I just love it. And take it a little bit along underneath as well. Just kind of meet up with that, the lilac underneath. And then under my brow. If I had fake tan on, I wouldn't use this under my brow, but because it's really light, it's all good. So yeah, as you can see, I'm looking very glowy, which I love. Oh my God, I haven't even done it on my nose. What the hell am I doing? Okay, back to that palette again. I literally just do a little bit. Right on the tip and just here. So I just like to do almost like a line here and then I leave a space so I don't do the whole way down and then I just do a little dot on the end. A little bit more on the cupid's bow because you can never have too much on that. And yeah, so now we've just got lashes and lips and we are finished. This is a bit random. I I use Revita Lash Lash Serum and this came in a set with it. It's a little mini mascara basically and I've just been using that um, when I have lashes on. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to put that on. Oh my God. Look what I just done. Honestly. It's fine. I'll let it dry and then I'll get it off. That is how you do it. You don't touch mascara mistakes when they're wet. You wait for them to dry and then they just like crumble off pretty much. So I have to wait for it to completely dry, which is a bit annoying. Okay, I'm using Tatty Lashes and I think they're TL39, I wanna say. They're quite, I just love them. They're literally one of my faves. Nice and fluffy. So I'm gonna get some duo lash glue. I'm still waiting for that mascara to dry. Sad times. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for these to dry, so I'll be back in a sec. Right, I've left these lashes to dry for ages because I literally like to get them until they're almost dry. They're so much easier to apply like that, so I'm just going to go straight in. They are beautiful, look at that, nice fluffy. This is what my extensions were like, oh God. I don't. I need to stop talking about them, I'm obsessed. I swear, in isolation, I just can't see, I'm just waiting for my next meal. It's really bad, it's like being on an all-inclusive holiday. Me and my friend were saying this the other day because our holiday's obviously been canceled, which is really sad, but everyone's in the same boat, aren't they? But I just really like to have something to look forward to now. Everything's just so up in the air, but never mind. It could be worse, it could be worse. But anyway, we were talking about whenever we go on holiday, we'll be by the pool for like two hours, it'll be about half 10 and me and Molly are wondering when we can go for lunch. Oh, life just revolves around food, doesn't it? When you're on holiday and I feel like that's the same thing. Right, now I'm gonna put the other lash on. lips and then we're done so i'm going to take mac subculture liner on my faves and just i'm going to overdraw them a tiny bit So I've got my lip liner and now I'm just going to go in with Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb, one of my faves. I'm 
because I want them to be quite just nude and glossy. We are done. I'll give you a little close up. I quite like it. I might wear coloured eyeshadow more than I normally do now because it was it's actually quite I don't know, even if you were to just do like lilac underneath, I just quite like it. I feel like it makes my eyes look really green actually. Nice glowy skin, quite natural coverage. My fave. So yeah, let me know what you all think. I hope you enjoyed the, my first makeup tutorial. It was kind of a bit scary, but I think I've done all right, apart from not being able to talk when I'm concentrating. <laughs> but yeah, I think I've done all right. But yeah, let me know what else you'd like to see. If you want to see more of kind of like an everyday makeup look, I would, I'd like to do that as well, because obviously that's what I normally wear as well. But yeah, if you've got any suggestions of what else I could do kind of makeup related, let me know. But yeah, we will see you. Well, probably one of us will see you in our next video because we can't see each other. Um, we're going to try and film some more over um, FaceTime, I think. We're going to do like a like going out, like as if we're going on a night out, but we were on FaceTime. We're just going to get drunk and like, yeah, get ready. I think it'll be quite fun. But yeah, let us know if you've got any more suggestions of what we could do. Um, and I will see you very soon in our next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.